Today's video is sponsored by Blinkist. I know so many of you struggle with finding the time to sit down and read a book. I do too. And I also know how many of you love to read and learn. So I really love this idea. Blinkist has condensed over 3,000 nonfiction books into 15 minute blinks. You can read or listen to them podcast style, and they're available offline too. It's an easy download, and you can join the 14 million users and access some really helpful books like How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander, and Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. So good. Also, they've just added full-length audiobooks, and premium subscribers get a special member pricing of up to 65% off the retail price. I will leave the link in the description box below, and I will also leave it here for you. And the first 100 people who click on the link will get unlimited access for the first week, and then 25% off if you want a full membership. So check it out, and let's get into the video. There. Welcome to Liberty Library. Absolutely. So, what can I help you with today? Mm hmm. Understand that? Hmm. Surely. Well, we do have all sorts of different books, obviously. We've got about thirteen stories worth. Of different stories. Thirteen different levels to this particular building. Mm. That's right. And we have a series of passageways that also have different books all along the side. So I'm sure you'll be able to find what you're looking for. Now, would you like to tell me uh, what that might be? All right. Well, let's see. I guess you'd have to sort of start with what sort of stories you like. Hmm. adventure quite popular right 
romance. Sure, we've got romance from every single square inch of the entire world. You could find romance stories about anybody that you could possibly want to. Do you know that we're one of the largest libraries on the entire planet? That's right. We do pride ourselves on being one of the largest collections of books. Mm. And we're also one of the oldest, not only libraries, but buildings. That's right. Let's see, we go. Okay, here that here. So, do you have any particular favourite writers? Okay. Sorry, you don't mind if I go about my work. I've got a large stack here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sure. Let's see, chances are you could probably find really anybody here. writer, but why don't we go ahead and take a look, see, just sort of <laughs> sift through our cards here, we'll try and figure out what floor I'll need to send you to, can you please spell the last name there? Alright. Mm -hmm. Could it perhaps be under a different spelling? Okay, let's try that. So it looks like we have two different uh, ones, books under that name. So why don't I go ahead and send you over in that general direction and then we'll sort of go from there. Now, you've never been here before, that's correct? Alright. <laughs> Well, I'm very glad that you're here, and I'm very happy that I'm the one to welcome you. So, oh, let me see, um, why don't I get you a map? That way you can just sort of wander around. It's a lovely time to just sort of, you know, take some time and walk through the beautiful labyrinthine corridors, and, you know, we've got a grand sort of great hall that's got all kinds of books up all the shelves and you know you've got to climb ladders and things it's it's really quite special oh up in here 12 and 40 probably uh i've been going about my fifth year now yeah that's right well you know <laughs> We do what we can. Mm. Oh, right, so let me just go ahead and open this little cupboard. Oh my god, there. 
grab our little maps. There we go. So now let's take a look see. Alright, so that's the bottom floor. Looks like that is second and third as well. That is the fourth. Oop. And that is... <laughs> I believe that is the rest. So that should be probably... Yeah, alright. So what we're going to look at is the fourth. This is going to be your map. So let me just show you here. So you want to carry straight down this corridor till you come to the mysteries and histories and once you get to those then you're gonna swing a left walk down this long corridor until you find the beautiful painting of the bucolic countryside oh you can't miss it no it's bigger than i am <laughs> oh it's beautiful some of the artwork we have on the walls is just It'll take your breath away, it really will. So, I'll go straight down and then you'll, uh, you'll, you'll turn and you'll sort of go with the curve of that stone wall straight ahead. Then you want to go uh, maybe 10 or 12 paces, depending on how long your gait is. I'd say maybe 11 for you paces and then you want to turn right again there will be a large door it's a large wooden door uh, it's been painted sort of a sky blue but then that's chipped over the years so it um but it has a little sort of uh, window at the top and it'll grate over the window like that metal grate so you can look in there and um yeah, it should say, uh, sort of on this little plinth right ahead, Mysteries and Histories. Let me just go straight into there. And then you can kind of find your way from there. There's all kinds of things in terms of adventure and things. So why don't I hand you this? And then you can just pop on your way. And I've got your little card here for you as well. So, here you go. Both of these then. There you are. Oh, alright. Sure, I can answer a few more questions. If you don't mind me just sort of clearing up a bit. Sure. Mm-hmm. Definitely does make sense now. Hmm. Let's see. I've got a few favourites. I have. Um. I think one of my favourites is probably the um. The Elf of Arnoldy. Yeah, that's a good one. Just sort of kind of covers all the bases, you know, adventure, romance bit of a thriller. It's, it's, that's a fun one. Mm -hmm. And then let's see what else do I like. I quite like things that are a bit more obscure. Um, I like, do you know, a uh, Kale's Week? The land between dreams and wake. Yeah, it's a lovely one. Hmm. That one you've got adventures. All sorts of characters. Elf. Uh, an oracle. Uh, blacksmith. He's a farrier by trade, but. <laughs> um, there's a great ba 
battle with a crone. That's a fun one. I think uh, the Baker's Apprentice, that's a fun one as well. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one, I like that one. It's all about Baker's Apprentice. And a dragon. No, oh, I do love dragons. Mm. Yeah. And yourself. That's good. I think you sort of have to believe in those things, don't you? Hmm. Well, it's like... Sort of... If you want magic in your life, you almost have to create it for yourself a little bit. And I am definitely one of those who wants magic. What about yourself? Oh, that's great. Oh. My stack of books is getting quite high here. Just have to move things around. There we go. Just place it there. Mm. Funeral of Boyer Bram. That's a fun one. Sort of a quirky uh, comedy of errors, uh, but it's um, a bit spooky as well. It's a sort of multi genre sort of thing. Hmm. Do you know what? If you want to sit down and we could just have a a chat, catch up. I've got loads of more books to do. So, I'm happy to have you join me if you don't mind. Alright, yeah, just sit down, make yourself comfortable and let's have, let's have a chat about some books. Why don't you tell me a little bit about some of the books that you like? Well, I do my stamping and making sure that everything's in order. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that sounds like you fun. Yes. I do quite like those, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know, I've never really thought about it. I suppose I don't mind either way. I do like poetry quite a bit. What about yourself? Hmm. What's this? This was due back, probably. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness, this was due back three weeks ago. <laughs> a bit of a strike there unfortunately yeah. mm. the work here is quite I wouldn't call it fun but it's um I'd say gives you time to contemplate things and I'm a relatively contemplative person so I don't mind it I find it quite meditative, to be honest. What have I got there? About 20 books. Done about 20 myself now, so... Yeah, I think it's alright. Quite fun. Mm. One thing that's important to remember... Look at that. Favourite of all the... Look at that, some people just don't have an appreciation. Love books, I think they're the most magical things I can think of. I don't know why you'd want to rip them apart. I mean, I can completely understand if you're getting into a book and you want to fold the pages and mark things and make sure you can go back and revisit and all of that. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Sort of coming home to a book. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? But I don't understand that, I really don't. They've ripped it all to bits, so... I don't know. That's another little... mark down. I'll have to mark that one. Brand new card. Mm -hmm. Let's write it in here. 
as well, that name. But yes, I find it quite, um, it quite satisfying to be honest mm. meditative contemplative all of that <laughs> I'm a bit of a scatterbrain so anything to help me sort of um invite more mindfulness this is important <laughs> Not sure if you can tell. This one is truly beautiful. and things. Hmm. Beyond those copper peaks a blood red rider comes and now begins in the sad evening the fight of the last lights with the clouds. That's the rider by Ahmed Hassim. Mm, the Star and the Crescent, an anthology of modern Turkish poetry. Mm. That's a beautiful one. Mm, right, let me go ahead and. Two little stamp there. Hmm. Do you have a favourite poet? Hmm. I love her. Hmm. I've never heard of him. Hmm. Where's this one from? Let's see. Hmm. Okay. It's not that I want you to leave or anything, I want you to stay, obviously, but, you know, I'm sure you probably want to get on your way. There's quite a bit more to see of this library than just a little reception. <laughs> what did you say? It is rather sunny for a Sunday afternoon. Does this mean... Are you one of the ancient mystics? Oh, bless my heart. Oh, goodness me.
looking for the secret tomes. Well, technically speaking, I'm not obviously allowed to just sort of take your word for it. Oh, you've got a letter. Let's see. Oh. Let's Look at this. with excitement, I really am. Absolutely nothing exciting happens at Liberty Library. <laughs> In all five years I've been here, I've never met another magic keeper or an ancient mystic or anybody. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath. Okay, let me just read here. Dearest Magic Keeper <sighs> Collect myself I am writing you to inquire about the secret tomes of Carden Hall I have sent a messenger and friend says <laughs> who happens to be a descendant of the ancient mystic as well as my pupil. Oh my goodness. I will only need the tomes for a fortnight and will return them by way of the self-same messenger who handed you this very parchment. In overwhelming gratitude, Dr. S. W. Talking. Oh my goodness. This is truly one of the best days. All right. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to hang on to this. All right. What are you talking about? These can absolutely wait. We've got one of the descendants of the ancient mystics here. Come on, get out of here. <sighs> no. Let me clear a little bit of space. Um, I can't believe you went so long without telling me you're one of the ancient mystics. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. So. Where we keep all of the secret tomes. It's a quite exciting moment, isn't it? Now, so it requires a key. Have you got the key? Oh. Well. 
me check a few different places. That would be bad news, wouldn't it? Oh, let me try here. Oh, right. Okay. This may be it. Hmm. All right. There's so much junk in this little box. Okay. Well, I found this key. Just a whole lot of them, so let's go ahead and... I mean, those look pretty similar, but let's give it a try. <sighs> no, again, that's not it. That's all of those look exactly the same. I mean, look, all three of those look. <laughs> There's a fourth one here as well. So I think I've done these two, so we'll try these two, alright? It's hard to keep track. I'll put these two over here. Okay. Don't you worry, we'll make sure that you have everything you need for your doctor talking. <laughs> find it. Okay, we'll try this one. Oh. Oh, so close that one. See, let's see. Look at that. Looks about the same time period as this box. I think we might have found that. All right, let's try. Disappointing, isn't it? I really thought that would be the one. Hmm. Oh, my necklace. Oh, I've had it for years since I was a wee child. I mean, I don't think it goes to anything. It's just a decorative necklace. Sure. There we are. I mean, it said that um, my great, 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 great grandmother was a blacksmith. 
in that she wielded this little key. It's very old. Yeah, it's a nice necklace though. It feels quite symbolic. Yeah, sure. Here. Yeah, it's lighter than you'd expect, isn't it? No, I don't know anything about black smithery. Mm. No, I'm a bit afraid of fire, to be honest. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I highly doubt that. I mean, it's part of my family. It's been in the generations for years. I don't think it'd... You're right. It won't hurt to try. done it. Well done you. Here we go. I've got tingles all over. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. Do you want to give it a little sniff? I know that sounds a bit weird, but yeah, go on. Oh, doesn't that just smell? Oh, all the works. It's beautiful. I can't understand what it says, but no one's been in for quite a while. What do you say? Would you like to read one of the old spells? Here you go. Go on then. Let's hear. Oh. into it. 